Well, hello everybody. Got a little video we're gonna to do today. It's gonna to share with you. What we're testing today is this Burris PEPR quick mount. Um, don't know much about this. My son kind of turned me on to this. Uh, it's got a, a Vortex Strike Eagle one to eight scope on it. What we're gonna put it on, Palmetto uh, State AR-15. Uh, we really like these Palmettos. This is one of those build kits we put together. Comes with the Mobis flip up sights. Uh, this, I haven't shot this gun much. Uh, this is a gun I had my thermal scope on, so we, we've shot great groups with it. This is a fantastic gun. I love these Palmetto State uh, ARs. So for the money, this is the best bang for your buck on the market. I'm into this probably around $500. I mean, the downside is I had to assemble it, but that was kind of fun. So anyway. So what we're going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to just double check the, uh, open sights on that. Those mobile flip up sights. So I'm going to shoot a three shot group with that. Then I'm going to install this scope with these quick mounts. So the claim to fame on these guys is that you can put it on, take it off, put it back on, not change zero. We're going to prove that today. So shoot the three shots with the open sight put this on i'll get it zeroed i probably won't film the zero process it's kind of slow and boring once i get it zeroed i'll shoot a three shot group with it and then we'll uh, take it off and put it back on see how it goes so the ammo i'm shooting today um you guys have seen a couple of the videos i've done on this this is just a 55 grain hornady soft points uh, boat tail the, the ARs we have, the experience we've had, we're using CFE powder. They, these guns love this load. Um, this gun, we've shot this load in quite a bit. So as far as the accuracy test, that's not really what we're doing today. It's all about that scope mount. I've been really curious on that because, uh, you know, my son's kind of the, he's kind of the gear nut around here and he's the one that kind of turned me on to it. I didn't know that even existed. So we're gonna take some shots and uh, see how that scope mount works. Uh, I want to just mention something real quick with you guys. Uh, YouTube's got super weird about AR stuff and magazines and all that. So you won't see me. I'll edit it or step away from the camera. Install the mag or rack the slide on this AR. I mean, I, I've already got one warning because I did a bullet casting video and uh, they accused me of manufacturing bullets and that's against their guidelines. So they've, and, and they've got some new guidelines out recently, just the last few months about magazines so anyway if you see me step off camera i'm not hiding anything it's just this weird youtube world we live in so anyway we'll take a few shots all right we'll go up and have a look all we're doing is checking zero for those uh those open sights just because i installed them zeroed them and haven't shot them since so i thought why we don't have the scope on it'd be worth taking a minute and checking the we'll go up and have a look all right that wasn't too bad of a group i'll flip the camera and show you guys what we got so you guys know me i'm a tight wad this target just had a couple holes in it so i put some tape over it but these are the three shots that's a oh i would say even less than a two inch group open sights uh, point of impact's about right. It's, you know, what would that be? An inch and a half high or something? Man, I'm saying that's perfect. I'm not gonna monkey around at all with it. You know, those open sights is one of those deals that without a little practice, it's hard to shoot super accurate with open sights. Anyway, it is for me. But anyway, I'm happy with that. Less than a two inch group, 100 yards, uh, good enough. So. All right, well, what I'm gonna do now <clears throat> is just install this onto the AR and I'm gonna show you how this works. It has a little catch right there. So when that's down, this is what holds it in place. Hope you guys can see that good. And the theory is, is it just, it's those quick connects with those, it's like a cantilever deal, snaps into place. I am not gonna install this on camera. I can say, I'm, my YouTube channel is just getting started. I don't wanna have any strikes against me. YouTube is so funny about doing any thing with AR. So I'm gonna step off camera install this i'll show you after i have it installed and uh we'll take some shots all right well uh this is a couple days later uh, last time i was working with this gun i did a three shot group with the open sights shot pretty good 
and I told you that I was gonna just go off camera to sight this in. Well, I ran out of ammo that day and then it rained for a few days. So this is a few days later. So I've got it sighted in. So this is the Strike Eagle one to eight with the Burtis Quick Connect uh, scope rings on it. So I'm gonna shoot one group and uh, hopefully it'll be a good group sighted right in. Then we're gonna take the scope off and come back, put it back on and shoot another group. So here we go. All right, we'll walk up and have a look, see how the group is. All right, guys, well, we got our sighted in pretty good. Not a fantastic group, but not too bad. It's uh, about an inch and a half for three shots. I kind of pulled one. I got two, two good. I kind of pulled that one. That's probably a loose nut behind the trigger issue, not necessarily a gun issue. So I'm happy with that group. So we're going to go back. We're going to take the scope off the rifle with those Burr's Quick Connect, reinstall it, and shoot another group. Okay, so what we're going to do, this is the Burris mount. It's called the Burris P-E-P-R. Don't know what that stands for, for sure. But it's got these cam locks, and they just come off. So you push this. And that unlocks it. I am not going to take the scope off on camera, because YouTube is so weird about stuff. Okay, so you guys can see I got the scope off. Um, I shot it with the open sights. You guys seen that at the beginning of the video, so we know the open sights are good. So I'm just gonna step off camera, put the scope back on, we'll shoot another group. Okay, so we've mounted that back on. There again, these uh, cam locks are real easy to put on and off. I think this is a great system, if it works. I mean, I'm curious, I've never done this before. But, you know, I got ready to do this. I thought, well, I'm gonna, this would be a great content for YouTube to see if this guy actually works the way it says it's gonna. So we're gonna shoot uh, another three shot group and see if the zero is still there. So here we go. Okay, here we go. We'll take three shots and we'll see how the scope mount performs. All right, we'll walk up and have a look. All right, guys, well, here's three shots after I mounted and dismounted the scope. So that is better than the last group. That's about an inch and a quarter versus this group down here that was just over an inch and a half. So this group's slightly better. Um, man, I am tickled pink with that scope mount set up. Um, you know, the, the point of impact's exactly the same. You know, this little bit, I don't think it's worth it. You know, I got a couple shots to the left slightly. Not worth moving. I think that just might be me, so... Anyway, it was really curious for me to see how that scope mount worked, and I am tickled pink with it. Um, I think it's a great system. You know, you guys heard me talk about the whole doomsday prep and just out deal a little bit. And kind of the purpose of that rifle is with the backup sights, when the zombies come to get us, and I drop that gun and break the scope, I can pull the scope off real quick and go to, go to the... Uh, iron sights on it, the open sights, those Mobus backup. So anyway, that's kind of the whole purpose of that. I love those Mobus backup sights. I've shot some great groups with them. You know, they're super light. They're not too expensive. So I've been putting them on all of the ARs. So anyway, I'm tickled with this burst setup. Uh, if you guys haven't subscribed yet, please take a minute and do so. I uh, appreciate everyone that's done it uh, recently and give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.